Hey y'all, Grand Rising. Whoa, all right. Well, let's see what does the collective need to receive. All right, we have here health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. We have here uh, know your worth. And star brothers, we have Horus. Okay, shout out to the ancient Egyptian ancestors. Horus energy, protection, loyalty, safety, and trust. Okay, you could be seeing these birds. Um, what are they? I think it's hawks. I think they're hawks. All right. Um, but basically, that's just letting you know that you are protected. All right. We have different, uh, you know, different lifetimes. We have different ancestors, and this is in particular the ancient. Egyptians, okay? So let's see what else. Spirit is saying here that uh, you are protected. They want you to know your worth. And they want you to continue to focus on your health, okay? Honor yourself, okay? Uh, this is meditation, taking a break, you know? Staying in balance, okay? We have here, assess the situation, all right? Maybe there's an, a, a situation that you need to... Assess right now. All right. See how this person is sitting here in balance, meditation. Okay. Um, maybe there's a situation that you need to, you need to understand that spirit is trying to protect you. It's trying to save you from something that's, that could be toxic here. Okay. Because they're telling you here, know your worth. Okay. Let's see what else. Tell me more. Yeah, look, connect with your emotions. So again, something about you sitting down somewhere, being by the water, okay? I'm getting a lot of water energy here. Or just, again, just tapping in with your intuition. Something about a situation that you need to really uh, sit down and, and, and figure something out here. <laughs> We're going to keep going. We have transformation. I'm talking about keep going. I feel like this is also telling you that. Something about you getting up out of there, out of the situation, Okay. And we have here, oh, we got the magician, but it's coming on the reverse. So this is telling me that there's some type of voodoo going on here. It's like, <laughs> I be trying not to tap into that. Like, you know, at least in the morning, you know, like just give a good message. And it's like, it's everywhere. And, and that's the life that we're living. Okay. These people, they're everywhere. All right. It doesn't mean that it doesn't affect us, but they're, they're still there doing this shit. So there's somebody in the background doing voodoo. And Spirit is telling you that you need to walk away from this person uh, for you to be able to transform, all right? You need to know your worth. You need to know that you are not alone, that you are protected. And you need to honor yourself, okay? You need to honor your boundaries is what I'm getting here. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. All right, so they're telling you to remain positive. It's telling you to surrender to prayer. Give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will arrive. You could have been praying already, looking for a sign or something. And this is your sign. This is your confirmation that you need to walk away from this. You know, this is the same energy that keeps coming out every day. And I feel like, you know, it's, it's needed. You know, we're closing out cycles and some, some of us need the guidance. All right. So if you already walked away from somebody... I don't need y'all to comment. I know in Instagram, I don't be seeing that, but I be seeing a lot on YouTube. It's like, y'all not listening? Like, you know, like, if you, if this doesn't resonate with you, you don't have to comment telling me, I already walked away from them. I already cut them off. All right, then this is not for you. All right? <laughs> it's not for you. I say it every day. It's a collective reading. It's a group reading. It's a bunch of us that is watching this. And if you already walked away, then all right, congratulations. But somebody hasn't walked away yet. There's a group of souls that I have not walked away, and this is what I'm here to do. Help them through it, all right? So just go watch another reading, all right? So we have here, take time to breathe out, and we have air. So I, I just feel like, you know, you need some time, again, to assess the situation. Go get some air. Go get a breather, you know, um, and really figure out what it is that you're going to do. But they are guiding you in, in the direction of transformation, you know, of releasing this energy. All right, let's see. Yeah, we have here. I feel like this is what this person is trying to do. Command, song, incantation, and containment. They're trying to, like, keep you stuck. 17 could be significant, all right, or 8. 
but they're trying to like keep you stuck you know like contain you keep you know hold on to you they could be doing uh something with incantations you know they could be saying some weird shit out in the woods or some shit or when y'all fucking they whispering some weird shit doing sex magic on you all right so this is what the, what these people be on yeah look when y'all fucking all right i said pleasure so y'all gotta be careful who y'all be out here fucking with <laughs> but look we have pleasure and fulfillment i feel like this is what's gonna come for you with this transformation but you gotta you gotta release this energy yeah we got the great severing it's time to let go all right this uh, energy could be bringing you a lot of conflict anger frustration toxicity and those are signs that you gotta let go all right let's see if you if you release right now in spring spirit is saying that you will see your seeds grow they want you to take this leap of faith okay let me pull another pot of cards Tell me more, Holy Spirit. We got the mother energy. This could be uh, you. Or this could be the person that you're dealing with. Uh, maybe a child's mother. It could be your child's mother. Or maybe they have children. It could be your own mother. A mother figure. An aunt. Something like that. Alright. Let's keep going. Tell me more about this mother. We're going to see what's the energy with this. Okay. So you are somebody who's very nurturing. You're somebody who's... Uh, you, you give unconditional love. You serve humanity with humility. All right. You're just somebody who's humble. You're kind. You care about others. All right. You don't have to be a mother. You could be a father. Or you could be somebody who's just very nurturing, very compassionate, very pure. All right. And it says here, with this judge, I feel like you could even be a spiritual judge. Okay. That's the collective. We out here serving karma. Okay. Tell me more. But it says here, balancing justice and compassion, managing the fair distribution of power. I just feel like you, some of y'all could be a Libra. Some of y'all could work in the justice system. But I just feel like you're somebody who's, again, compassionate. You're fair. All right. You are a visionary. It says you have a capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others. You have a willingness to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain. Okay. And with this monk, wow look at this the monk the visionary and the guide y'all you are definitely you are here to do much more uh with your wisdom you're here to teach to guide others you are a spiritual judge you are a messiah okay you're nurturing you're a visionary you can see into the future you have the gift of, of foresight and it says here you are devoted and single-minded uh single-mindedly dedicated to spirit Wow. Okay. So that's your energy. That's what Spirit said here from the beginning. Know your worth. <laughs> that's what they made me pull from here. Because they want you to see who you are. All right? You, you're a big deal out here in these spiritual streets. Okay? So they want you to know your worth. And they want you to sever whatever ties are not in alignment with your purpose. All right? Which is doing a lot here. Okay? So let's see. Let's see what else we get. Um... Mm -hmm. Let's from these cards. Tell me more. And don't get offended, y'all. They about to curse you out with these cards. Sometimes we need a little tough love, all right? <laughs> oh, my God. It says here, believe what you see. Face reality or live in fucking La La Land. What you gonna do? Choose bravely, okay? <laughs> what are you gonna do? All right? Believe what you see. I'm telling you, you already know that this person that you need to sever the ties with, you already know. I'm just here to confirm it. I say this in every reading. I'm just here to confirm what your intuition is already telling you. You are 
all of this you are divine your intuition is on point okay trust it because you need to believe what you're seeing whatever you're seeing whatever you're feeling it's true okay um and spirit is saying you know are you gonna it's like now that you know better are you gonna do better or are you just gonna go and live in la la land i don't think you're gonna live in la la land okay i don't i don't think you want to do that so there's a situation here that spirit is telling you yeah something that has to do with love all right but there's no love here okay and they want you to see they want you to see clearly all right it says here watch out shit could get ugly yeah you need to see clearly what's going on and you need to know your worth and choose yourself honor your boundaries and when you do that you're going to see that blessings are on the horizon here this is what god is trying to guide you towards yeah look we gotta be fucking grateful shit could be much worse all right yeah you're gonna be very grateful because there's blessings that are, are, are in your life okay that are coming in uh but i feel like you should be grateful now for these blessings to come in but i also feel like yeah things could be much worse so be grateful for that too all right like i said shit could get ugly all right but you need to believe what you see let's see tell me more Yeah, spirit is saying you're the shit. And you have a feeling that you just cannot shake. And that's your intuition telling you something is going on here. All right, so this is telling you here. You see that little voice inside of you? Listen to that shit. You see what I'm saying? Your intuition. Exactly, that's your intuition. And then this one is telling you here, don't forget it. All right, you are the shit, don't forget it. Again, know your worth. See what I'm saying? <laughs> know your worth, you the shit. Okay, all right. So let me pull some cards from here. Because I was feeling drawn to pull, so I'm going to close it out with this. Yeah, there's a lesson to learn here. Absolutely. This is a karmic. You're supposed to learn from it and keep it pushing. Anything else that the collective needs to be aware of, Holy Spirit. Yep, you are a chosen one. I told you, you're a chosen one. You're a judge. You're a guide. All right. What else? You're about to be getting multiple streams of income while these people are just gossip gossiping, all right? They're going to see you making money, living your best life while they're there gossiping, talking shit, uh, trying to do voodoo on you or whatever the fuck they're doing. Yeah, the haters. <laughs> okay, what else? Yep, protect your energy from these haters. Yep, because you are a chosen one and you're about to be making multiple streams of income. So you got to keep your... Yep karmic see what i'm saying a lesson to learn here you got to keep your boundaries because these type of people all they do is block and delay your blessings and some of y'all they try to steal your blessings too they try to siphon your energy through sex try to siphon your energy uh you know through uh, other means you know and it's like you got to just stay away from these type of people it's like you or them what you gonna do all right they feel like you owe them something see what i'm saying they feel like you owe them something you know they want you to be in depth to them or some bullshit and you don't have to be like that at all okay <laughs> we have here easily tempted these are people who are easily tempted they're weak all right they low vibrational you know like you can't have people like this in your team you know what i'm saying let's see what else and you can't be with, even if it's like a lover you can't be with somebody who's like that you know somebody who's easily tempted they're weak they don't have boundaries all right we have here moving silence that's what spirit is telling you to do move in silence as you can uh, continue to manifest everything that you deserve here. Okay? Don't tell the karmics your next move. Just bust a move. Yeah, they are an energetic blockage. And that's that's the consequence here. That they're going to block your energy if you keep them in your life. And then you're not going to get to your goals. Yeah, look. These people don't want to see you win. These are haters. All right? Some of them, they don't want to see you win unless you're with them. And that's not going to happen. <laughs> All right? Let me put one more. All right, we have here that they're lurking. So again, they're talking about you, they're lurking, they're stalking, and the universe is gonna bless bless you and they're gonna watch you while you get blessed, <laughs> while you get these income, these multiple streams of income, all right? You bounce back from everything that was meant to destroy you, all right? You're strong, you are protected, you are divine. Keep moving forward and release what doesn't serve you, okay? Stay woke.